the Bharat Jodo Yatra in Rajasthan. It's going to be traversing the eastern part of the state for 17 days and will cover over 500 kilometers. But there are lots and lots of issues in the Yatra which are actually the subtext of the Yatra, which are perhaps uppermost in everybody's minds. I have with me Sachinji. Sachinji, thank you so much for speaking to us. You know, uh, yesterday Jairam Ramesh said that the Yatra, this Yatra is not just about winning elections. But the point is that in 11 months, Rajasthan is going into an election. And definitely, as someone who's even headed the party once in Rajasthan, you're going to be looking at the electoral impact. After all, that's why you're in politics, isn't it? You see, the Yatra per se is not there to garner votes. That this Yatra has a much larger, deeper mission at hand, which is to express solidarity with people who are hurting today. You know, issues of unemployment, poverty, price rise. Uh, it's, it's glaring, but yet people in Delhi who run the country are unwilling to accept or uh, give relief to the people. So Mr. Gandhi and all the other Yatris who have travelled more than 2,000 kilometres already in the last 90 days have done a tremendous and a historical job which is to galvanise people from all walks of life. And what is he doing? He's not even accusing anyone. He's just saying, I'm here to listen to you. And people have always said, Congress is not on the streets, the So we are on the street now for the last three months and I think it has a great resonance uh, with almost every Indian in this country, irrespective of which party he or she may support. So to answer your question, elections are in Karnataka in four months' time. So elections come you know, many times in a, in a year. Uh, Rajasthan will face elections in 11 months. It is the responsibility for all of us who are in the state to take some political advantage of the Yatra when it goes uh, through the state of traveling 500 kilometers. So it's up to us to take, you know, and how we can enthuse our workers. But the Yatra per se is not there to win elections. It's there to give a message of solidarity, raise pertinent issues, and the sense of acrimony in society that is now very prevalent. How to, you know, diffuse that situation and talk about brotherhood and harmony, and, you know, the sort of communal tension that uh, comes up uh, off and on. That is not healthy for anybody. So the Yatra's objective is not to win elections, but as political workers, it is our responsibility to take whatever we can as a political dividend because of this Yatra. Well, you're talking about the optics of the Yatra in one sense. So I want to talk about a picture that is going viral today. It's a picture of you walking with Rahul Gandhi. And let me tell you, Sachin has been very, very, he's been, he's up at six. He walks the entire Yatra. Six. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at four, and then you start walking at six. So yeah, but there's a picture. We're talking about the optics of a Yatra. And there's a picture that's going viral today. It's a picture of him with Rahul Gandhi. And Rahul Gandhi's got his hand on your shoulder. I don't know if you know that, but someone's clicked it and everyone's discussing that. So, so is that hand on your shoulder, that hand? How strong is the hand? Did you see Mr. Gandhi, I think he's embracing everyone who comes across. He's holding children, holding hands of women, old people, uh, you know, just, just to sh show that, you know, we are here to listen to you, to hear you, and to take your issues forward. So I don't think it's about one or two people, but the Yatra itself is a, is a very... Uh, it's a very emotional affair for people who, I've seen the re response, you know, you can only feel this Yatra when you walk and understand the, the, uh, the atmosphere that gets generated when the Yatra passes through. So it's not about accusing somebody else or finding faults in the, in the government per se, but issues of the people to show solidarity, harmony with everyone, and to uh, spread love and affection amongst each other, which is what our culture is all about you know, for thousands of years. So this Yatra, I think, is achieving that objective. And I don't think in recent times anybody has undertaken such a mammoth exercise to travel non-stop every day for 90 days, 2,500 kilometers from Kanyakumari. And now we're already in Rajasthan. The Yatra will go up north towards Punjab and Haryana and then to Jammu and Kashmir. So this is a tremendous effort. And all, uh, all respect to people who have walked the Yatris, 140 of them are walking continuously non-stop. So it's a, it's a huge undertaking. Yeah. But then you're talking about the, like we were talking about, the political impact of the Yatra, whether it will help you win an election. What else do you think will help you win an election? I'm going to ask you a very direct question. Do you think changing the chief minister will help you win the next election? I think leadership issue will be dis uh, discussed and sorted out by the party, whatever they need to do. We, uh, all of us have to work together because, you know, 2013 when we lost the election, we were reduced to 21 seats out of 200. At that point, people didn't give us a chance. I remember some of you were asking me questions you know, in 2013, December. Now what will happen? Congress is you know, uh, on its way out. But we worked hard. You know, We were there every day challenging the government. And we worked hard and we formed the government. So there is no reason why, if we work hard now, that we can't form the government again. And this but what about the revolving door of politics in Rajasthan? So that's been happening for 25, 30 years. But it doesn't. It, everything can change. We have to have the will and the strategy to do it. There is no reason why we can't repeat the government. But how do you fight anti-incumbency? Can be converted into pro-incumbency. 
uh, many states in uh, India where Congress party has had two or three terms. In Delhi, we've had three terms. In Assam, we had three terms. In Haryana, we had two terms. So I think that logic uh, doesn't hold water that we can't beat because there's a trend. Everything can be changed. Many states used to have this revolving door policy, but people put an end to it. In effective uh, sort of coordination and hard work will give that result. But do you think changing the chief ministerial face puts an end to revolving door? You see, changes it's, the it's not for me to comment because that's something that will happen from the AICC if and when they decide to do what they would decide to do. But all of us are looking at how we can repeat the government. And not just me, every leader in Rajasthan says that. Every worker, every MLA, every minister, we all want that. Because unless we win these three states, uh, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh. It's very important for us, and I keep saying that Congress party has to win elections in the different states, Karnataka, for example, or Himachal. When we form, when you form governments in states, that leads up to our getting stronger for the Lok Sabha elections in 2024. And I think with UPA, Congress, and our allies, if we work together, we can easily displace the NDA government in 2024. Okay. Uh, last question. I know, uh, you know, uh, politics is a lot about discourse and narratives, and you have to be thick-skinned in politics. Just one thing I want to ask you. That, you know, the words that were used against for you, you know, you are a politician, you give all the right answers, but somewhere, did you feel a little sad at what was said about you? You know, I don't want to go into the past. Uh, what has happened has happened. But yes, you're right, I'm a politician, and like you said, I give very correct answers, but I'm also a human being, so obviously one feels sad and hurt. Uh, but then you have to move on, you know, but the larger objective is not about me feeling good or bad or someone else feeling good or bad, you know, we have a job at hand, we have a mission at hand, we have to win this election, so we have to move forward with positivity. And whoever said whatever said, it's all in the past, there's no point you know, talking about it now. But from my point, uh, from my point of view, uh, it's very clear that I, in public life, I, uh, I, I try and uh, maintain a dignity in discourse, because the minute you go down the slope, I mean, there's no coming back. So we have to look forward, we have to be positive, and uh, I, I take everything in that spirit that we have to move on. Thank you so much for talking to us. So Sachin Pilot speaking to NDTV.